One of my favorite DPS builds that I've been making in the past have been my Predator's Mark build. The build was strong because I was not quite hitting 1 million crits just yet, right? But finally, I think on this patch, I think I found the perfect weapon for it that's allow me to hit 1 million damage with this build. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to one more video. I appreciate you guys clicking on it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit me with a like. I would appreciate Subscribe if you're new. And I hope you guys all stay safe out there. So let's get into this. As I said in the past, I've been making this Predator's Mark build. But this is not a status effect build. I had to say that because in the past, some of you guys got confused. You guys thought this was a status effect build, but not quite. We need that status effect to activate the build, but this is gonna be a straight up DPS build for your gun. It will give you so much damage once the build is activated to the fullest. Now, each patch I had to accommodate something, right? I had to change something because either they changed something or they nerfed uh, something. I had to accommodate the build to uh, that specific patch. On this patch right now, I had to change the backpack that I had before, which was the Eclipse Protocol. That backpack does not work anymore on this, so I had to switch the build around. Plus, I added this gun that's gonna be uh, allowing me to hit for that win 1 million crits, which is so satisfying to see those big numbers, right? So, if that's interesting you, if that's uh, exciting for you, let's get and let me show you what I'm working with. So the gun that we're talking about that's gonna allow me to hit those 1 million crits is gonna be this weapon right here. We're talking about the tactical UMP45. This is a hard hitting SMG. It has a low RPM, but to compensate that, it has a high base damage. So the base damage of this SMG is gonna be 65.8k damage. I think this is the second uh, SMG when it comes to the higher damage per bullet. Now, after putting this on the build, uh, this weapon is going to be hitting for 152.6k per bullet. The RPM is 600 and the mag is going to be 50 after you put that plus 20 rounds on the magazine. The core attribute will be the SMG damage critical chance as normal and then the attributes I have damage to armor. Now, I would prefer having here damage target out of cover, which would make this weapon hit even harder. So just think of that. The same weapon with the same talent and having damage target out of cover, you will be hitting just a bit harder than what I'm doing on this build. And the talent we're talking about is gonna be Sadis. Now, this is the talent that I'm using on both guns on this build. It's gonna allow us to activate the build if we need to, and also it's gonna give us damage uh, after the build is activated. So, Sadis deal plus 20% weapon damage to bleeding enemies. After four kills, applies bleeds to the next enemy you hit. So, we can apply the bleeds for that status effect, and we have that's 20% damage against enemies with bleed. So for this build, what we're using is gonna be the main point of this build, is gonna be the ongoing directive. To be specific, four piece of this gear set. Now, the ongoing directive is a gear set that once you equip two pieces, you will get 15% status effect. By equipping three pieces, you get 30% reload speed. Reload speed actually is not that bad. It's actually a great attribute, so don't sleep on that. Now, once you equip four pieces of this gear set, there's where the whole build comes together, right? We have rules of engagement. Killing a status effect, enemy grants you hollow point ammo for your active weapon. So that's what we're looking for, that hollow point ammo. So by killing any enemy with any status effect, you get that hollow point ammo and that's it, you activated the build. Now that hollow point ammo amplifies weapon damage by 20% and applies bleed on hit. And that's where also the name Predator's Mark came for this build. Because if you remember Division 1, uh, the Predator's Mark gear set, apply bleed to your enemy once you hit them. And ongoing directive on Division 2, once you have the hollow point, it will apply the bleed on hit to your enemies. So as you see, we have the chest piece, the gloves, the knee pads, and also the holster. And every single one of them on the core attribute is gonna be weapon damage, and attribute we're gonna get critical hit damage. Now moving for the talents, right? We have on this chest piece, that's gonna make that four piece even better. So we have this 
talent on the chest piece will increase hollow point ammo weapon damage amplification to 35%. So instead of 20% amplified damage, we're gonna have 35% amplified damage on that fourth piece if you have the chest piece equipped. The second talent is gonna be in the backpack, of course, and this is gonna be the wicked talent. Now, this talent is gonna be on the backpack that comes from Walkers and Harrys. Walkers and Harrys, we have one of them on this build, and by having one, you get a 5% weapon damage to your build and then the talent will have wicked as i said applying a status effect increase total weapon damage by 18 percent for 20 seconds and as i said hollow point is gonna allow us to apply a status effect at all time uh, once we have it on our weapon so you're gonna have technically at all time that 18 percent as long as you have hollow point on your gun and if you do things right you're gonna be able to go on a kill spread and not miss that hollow point on your gun now the last thing we have on this build actually is gonna be a exotic and this is the coyote mask now there is a few reasons because of the talent the pack instincts um, as you guys know core attribute is gonna be weapon damage critical damage and critical chance and the mod critical damage um normal stuff now the talent of the pack instincts are uh, basically from 0 to 15 meters you get plus 25% critical damage on your enemy from 15 meters to 25 meters you get a 10% critical damage and 10% critical chance and then from 25 meters and plus we get that 25% critical chance so we are already close to that 60% on our SMG. We have 56.9% critical chance. And we want to use our SMG on close range for combat, right? So we're going to get that critical damage added on here. And then when I'm in long range, actually, I will switch to my AR, which actually needs some critical chance. So I will get critical chance from my Coyote mask to add to that 36%. So you see how things are working together, right? So I get critical damage from my SMG and critical chance from longer range to my AR. And speaking of the AR, this is gonna be my secondary weapon. I do have the military G36 uh, with the same talent sadist and with a better attribute in here, which is damage target out of cover, which is what I recommend. I do have the AR as a my long range weapon, but most of the time I will try to use my SMG on close range to hit even harder. So AR for long range, SMG for close range. For the skills, I am using the Stinger Hive. Now, the Stinger Hive, I only use it on the beginning of the fight, to be honest with you. I throw it out there, see, uh, wait for someone to get on bleed, and then once I kill that person with the bleed, that's it, I get the hollow point, and that's it, I don't need the Stinger Hive anymore. I just have to go on the kill spread, and I'll get my hollow point for like 100% of the time. So. That's why I have the Stinger Hive. The second skill is gonna be the Crusader Ballistic Shield. Uh, you guys know about the Crusader Ballistic Shield. Almost everybody uses it. It's good. Um, it is in the game. It's one of the best skills. You don't have to use it. I just use it on the last, um, last case, right? Last case scenario. If I'm almost dying, I poop it out just to help me out. And that's it. But uh, yeah, that's the build, guys. Let me know what you guys think of this build. Honestly, um, Predator's Mark build have been my favorite DPS build. This is one of my builds that I use actually for XP farming on five directives, actually. Um, I am making a video about that because the hollow point allow me to have almost infinite ammo. Activating five directives, you're gonna be uh, having less ammo if you don't use a build that has a lot of ammo right so that's why i use this build for that um anyways let me know what you guys think of this build have you make it have you done it in the past are you gonna make it again let me know all of that in the comment section below i appreciate all support once again if you enjoyed the video hit me with a like i would appreciate if you new subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace